Chocolate, in. extra chocolate for me. <laughs> Thank you. It is weird walking in first thing in the morning and there's just a camera just coming in <laughs> on your face. Give me some coffee first. Yes guys, so welcome back to the channel. In today's video now, what we're gonna be talking you through is how to manage business and also managing your fitness goals as well. So it'll be a little insight on me and Clow, how we manage our day, doing check-ins this morning, meeting a client this afternoon, and then a full session breakdown of this afternoon. get over some foam clips of your top set from each lift from one session per week then that would be fantastic with our sleep sleep and recovery is both very good improvements to our physique and in order to do that we need to be eating in a surplus and we need to be training in a progressive manner we're five kilo up from when we finished the fat loss phase and we're looking excellent mate like the the visuals this week are generally insane the muscle mass coming through and showcasing through we can see is a lot fuller i know this is obviously something that potentially you don't look for but when we're looking to analyze the photos before and after um, just over a week you can see the vascularity coming through through the back of the tricep the visuals are changing a lot but i'm not surprised mate because we've had a massive win this week of four kilos down in body weight which is huge and we've come down a hell of a lot now we need to take it in, in little phases, short, sharp phases, keep the mind focused, rather than what people like to go through, which is like a 12 week fat loss phase and try and get the job done in that time. And maybe they don't have enough time, so they have to be extreme. With you, we had a different approach. Four weeks of fat loss, followed by a little bit of a break where we push the calories back up, give your body a rest, then we dive back in again. So that is the first chunk of check-ins done this morning now. What I find works best with me when it comes to productivity around working in the morning is I find I'm most productive before I have my first meal. So what I do is when I wake up downstairs, hydrate, get a coffee, have a shower, straight in with check-ins then, normally start check-ins around six. Work till nine, so it gives me three hours of getting the check-ins done back to the boys. I'll then have my first meal at nine, which is 200 gram yogurt, 40 gram dark chocolate, and 30 gram away. I'll go straight into then finishing off the check-ins, which will then allow me to go to the gym, knowing that all the check-ins are done, and then when I come back from the gym then, it gives me time to, to do all the planning stuff. So with the courses, with the educational portal, uh, setting up new clients, programming, getting new nutrition plan sorted that's what i'll do then when i come back knowing that all the check-ins are done as well because the way we run is the boys check in on their set day and then they get the feedback from us the following day so what i like to do is give it back to them as early as i can on the following morning so they have the updated nutrition plan updated expenditure training potentially um, so they can get cracking as soon as possible Okay, so just cooking my first meal now. It's now five minutes past 10. I wanted to talk about the meals because that's a very important thing. Nutrition is something that people come to us for, well, the majority of people ask for a nutrition plan. The way we structure that for time management, wait for the beeps. The way we structure it for time management depends solely on like how optimal you want to be with regards to performance and the nutrition for, you know, growing a physique or improving, whatever it could be. But then also much of a priority is your work life and when can you actually fit it in and eat. So with me, I know I'm a little bit different to Tommy. Like I said, he's very, very focused on being as optimal as possible. So his feed throughout the day will probably be more frequent than mine. Even when it comes to being in a fat loss phase, and I know obviously we don't want to spread out too much to spike hunger but with me i actually have less feeds per day now so i'll only have my first meal uh i'll fast for the the most part to get a big work block done wake up anywhere between it'll be between four till half five it'll range and i'll do my cardio have my coffee have two maybe three coffees in the morning to keep me going depending on how i'm feeling um then i'll, I'll have my first meal between 10 and 11 a.m depending we have a meeting sometimes at 10 a.m so it could be 11 a.m start then i'll just be protein and, and and veg with some fats in the morning perfect but then i'll have a little hit of carbs just as i'm on the way to the gym so literally 30 minutes before pretty much 45 minutes before a little bit of carbs and that's 
all I'm having at the moment. And then post workout, I'll have my berries. So the only feed I'm having then after that will literally be 3 p.m., 4 p.m. And then the last one will be in a meal in the night, about 8 p.m. So I'm only having three solid meals a day. The first time I've ever really done that properly because before I would eat like a bodybuilder all the time. I would spread it out at least five meals a day, maybe a snack in there as well, um, which is what I would say is definitely more along the lines of being optimal. But when we're talking about the time it takes literally to sit down, prepare a meal, even if it's 10 minutes, 15 minutes, that's probably disrupting some sort of work block or something you could be doing that is either work or something else. Since doing that, I've noticed it's been so much better for me with regards to work and just being more efficient over time. So if that sounds like you and you're trying to balance, you know, building your physique, but also, you know, trying to be as efficient as possible in work, you don't need to actually have five or six meals a day. It is something you can reduce down, providing you still hit your protein target. And the problem is when the protein targets start getting high, that's when it can become difficult for someone. But you can spread it out over maybe 60 grams per meal. You sell it in 200 and what's that, 240 grams of protein a day if you do it over four meals. Four meals, yeah, yeah, with, with a meal in there as well. Yeah, and a couple of snacks, you know. But my first meal is, like I said, on the go, I'll batch cook my chicken in the morning. So when I get up and I'm doing my cardio, I have my coffees and stuff, literally chuck all my chicken in the foil, same routine every morning for the day. It'll cook for an hour, so it's a 30 second job. So you can't say you don't have time for meal prep. In, done, pull it out, and I either take it with me if I'm on the go with some microwave veg. So I'm taking care of the micronutrients. There's literally zero excuse. Yes, it's not the most exciting meal. Yes, it's not making a Michelin star restaurant, I don't know, chef meal every single time you eat, but you need to view if you view it a little bit differently. You need to see food as farewell. Yes, every single day, every single night, you can look for that instant gratification of having a nice meal, putting some time into it if you've got time to put into it. But it's one of those things, like if you, you, you're you eating to get the job done, you're eating for farewell, you're, you're getting the nutrients that you need. So anyway, that's how I do it. My meal prep takes literally a minute and then cooking a meal, literally in the microwave, heat it up, microwave bag. So I'm not wasting any time at all. I'm getting what I need in. There's no excuses, you can do it too. And if you're on the go, you can do it on the go by tracking macros as well. There is zero tolerance when it comes to nutrition with us. You can get it done. So yeah, I'm gonna crack on and have my food. Show you the warm up. No, mate. I'm no. an athlete. Let's have a look at the calories in there, though. Like the. You're judging my diet again. I'm not. I uh, am. Uh, well, let's call it. Who? <laughs> Mama Bear. She just seen me going past now. Did you. Have you got to say it was Mama Bear? Eh? Uh, no, it was Mom. Don't lie. It is Mama Mama Bear. It's Mom, I swear to God. Mate, I don't have the macros in these, bro. No, I just guesstimate, you know? You got a guesstimate. A guesstimation. No, it's 100 calories, I think. You think? I okay, think so. Think. Pretty sure. All tracked. That's why I'm doing this for a diet of no carbs, you know? No carbs? You had 400 gram of potato before coming. It's all light. <laughs> Seriously, do you want to talk through a session of how we're going to make it more efficient? Because I've got to be back for calls, you've got to be back for work later. Yeah, I think what would be good in terms of talking about the session, like as it goes on, explaining how we're making it more time efficient as the session goes on. In terms of like feed the session, not needing as many as the session goes on, especially yeah. like like isolation at the end. When it comes to training biceps at the end, like you've got enough blood, your, your biceps are warm, you've yeah. got blood in your arms. Yeah. You don't need three, four feet of sets for a bicep curl, whereas we're starting off a dumbbell incline, mm -hmm. so it's like we're gonna need more feet of sets. Mm -hmm. Especially me going up to the 70 kilos, I need about 10 feet of sets. You do, you do, yeah. Exactly. What we'll do is that we'll, we'll talk through the serious training stuff in there. Yeah. But what I do wanna know is, when you're, when you're driving down to the gym, it's just a bit of fun, what's your mindset going into it, genuinely? Like, are you thinking about that first exercise now? How are you? Like, because when I was when I was competing, I'd be thinking about it the night before. I'd be like, oh, this set, I'm gonna hit this way. I know. Yeah. Like, I would be visualizing everything. Yeah. I mean, but, I, I I was the exact same. Like around like the January February time, like really fixate. Like you know, like the night before doing like hack squats. Yeah. Planning it right. Yeah. Around. Yeah. Like as I'm laying in bed, I knew what I'd done the session before. I know I've only got one shot to, to progress on it in this week. So yeah, like you do visualize it and you put yourself in that dark sort of mindset that Don't say dark place. You do though, you do. You do put yourself in a dark You can't say that you, you didn't. No, 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 yeah. Yeah, exactly. I know that, but not the day before, like. 
You know? No, no, not the day before, <laughs> like, like just before the set. <laughs> just be like, God, don't talk to me, I'm fucking <laughs> thinking about the set. <laughs> He's crying, going It's to tomorrow, but I'm thinking about it now. Yeah, so we're on the way down to the gym now. We're just about to get there two minutes away. We're talking today, mainly the video is about showing you how busy our lives are, but we're still getting the gym in and we're being efficient with the time in the gym as well. So it's all about planning. If there's no plan, there's more decisions to make in a day. That's going to slow you down. Less time thinking about what you need to be doing and more time planning. You don't need that. So we've already planned that our client is going to be meeting us the same time that we get there for the gym that we would usually walk in. Usually we'd be distracted by clients that we meet in the gym anyway. We want to get in and train right now. So yes, it's still work, but we want our time to train. So we, we strategically put the meet in just at the start where we'd usually be going in anyway and probably talking to clients. So we're going to take them around the gym, make sure they're all happy with everything because they're about to embark on a very long journey. They've committed to a long time working with us. So we just want to have a nice in-person in introduction and just set the game plan for the future for this person. Then we're going to dive into our session straight away, get the job done. I've got to get back for my block of calls and then we've got another evening block till late tonight. Tommy's got another block of work later. So yeah, it's this is showing you the reality. It's not just a video, it's showing you just in the life. This is how we're doing it. Yeah, let's have a dirt, big dirty session as well. Yes, like wait, wait, wait. Literally. <sighs> 40 for six last week. Right. And the rep range is six to ten. Do I do I play smart thirty seven half, go for like seven eight? Yeah, if you wanna if you wanna get more reps, yeah. Because it's the back off ten to twelve. I, I'm thinking thirty seven and a half, thirty. To not waste to the set. To be smart, yeah. Yeah, and to not waste the set. If I yeah. do forties and get four or five, I'd be spinning. Would you? I'll do that then. Yeah, yeah I'll do that. Yeah. Come on, take the piss on. I wasn't going to. We were serious, aren't we? Serious game. Serious. If the can was on me and it was for you too, I wouldn't be doing that though. Optimal choke? Choking up for a machine. I've never seen anything. Mate, like when, it. when you train hard, train with accuracy and you end up doing more than two reps for a top set. Three. Right. Two. Come on, Ed. No. You get a bit of a sweat on your hands. Oh. And, and, and your hands get a bit clammy. I'll I don't give him that one. I don't want to be slipping. I'll give him that one. Back off with more than this top set. <laughs> <laughs> top set. We do switch on for the top set. We don't take the mic before top set. We take the mic after top set, immediately after, when they can't say anything back because they're, they're gone. Wait, wait then. Big set. Let's no, go. no, no, no. Back yesterday, but I'm gonna keep up with him today as well. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll do a comparison with our backs. That's what we'll do. Instead, of, you're gonna smoke me with a front shot, but back shot, I reckon I can hold my own. Well, I like the confidence, but no chance. <laughs> no, but, but yeah, but when you're six foot and you've got a bigger torso, oh. it's got more muscle to fill out. When you're built like a T Rex. I am five foot. I am. I, I am. <laughs> No, we, we, we'll, we'll do a back shot. You'll have more muscle, but it'll be good to compare. We'll do it in that. Why, why, why? What are you going to do? Compare my love handles or something? We'll, ju we'll just see uh, the waist, the aesthetics. Oh, I knew the, it. I knew the... it. When we turn the back, you'll see a spine with them. You won't, you won't see my spine. Erectors. <laughs> Chunky. He'll have more muscle, but I look prettier. I look prettier. You ready to take your top off? Big boy. For YouTube, you've got to try and guess in the comments now before you see both of us side by side who's going to look, who's the better back shot. We can't go most muscular because obviously. You're holding your own as a natural, so I got respect for that, genuinely. Yeah. As much as I take the mic, it's very, very good shape and completely natural, so very good. Although I do win. Yes, sir. The main thing is, though. The main thing is, 
yes, we do like a competition, me and Cloud both both competitive, but we're pushing each other on. Like we're, Cloud's pushing me, yeah. I'm in a mini cut. Uh, per, sometimes people lose motivation in a mini cut because you're not getting shredded. You're just tidying up the look, you're not adding muscle, you are in a deficit, you are pulling back body weight. But having this competition with Cloud, who I know is very competitive as well, it just gives that extra bit of motivation. So the timeline that is that is come in terms of Dubai coming up as well, it just pushes us both on to be the best version of ourselves as well. And brings out, I was gonna say brings out the PB and that's, that's pretty cringe. <laughs> We're a PB in life, man. <laughs> <laughs>Right guys, so that's the session done. We've got to go back now because like I said, we've got to crack on with our work blocks, but we smashed that session in literally just over an hour and a quarter. So if we weren't talking in between as well, we probably could have done it faster. We were obviously focusing on you guys. But if there's any topics you want us to cover, we will show you just the raw days in the life, the eating behind the scenes, the work ethic, anything you want to see, we can show you. Comment below. I'm going to have to shout because there's cars driving past, but if you want to join us on the six week shred, just get the six week shredder. Uh, shredder? Shredder? <laughs> get the six week Bible. Links in our bio, it's completely free. You can join along with us make sure you subscribe that does mean a lot it grows the channel and then we can bring more videos invest in you if you invest in us by subscribing for free thank you we'll see you soon